Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today we're fishing aboard the Indian. This is our annual 4th of July episode. And this week, again, we have a bunch of drill instructors from San Diego. All these guys give service to country all year long, and today we're going to take them out and have a good time on the water. They're all out of the San Diego Marine Depot, and a lot of these guys have never been fishing before. Some of them have been on the water before, but today they're going to have a lot of fun. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Shakespeare, Cabela's, Cajun Red Line, Fluger, Game Saver, Blue Cross of California Foundation, and by Laser Shark, manufactured by Eagle Claw. Oh, this is our way of thanking you guys for your service. I know it's a tiny little thing, but I'm trying to get you off the base for a few hours, let you enjoy the day. So what we're going to do today is we're going to head down south into Mexican waters. We're going to start off fishing sculpin, sand bass, stuff like that. Why don't you guys have lots of fun, enjoy today. Um, I know you guys are playing babysitter most of the time over there at the base and stuff. So today it's just all about you guys having some fun today, right? So thank you for being here and uh, just welcome. Have a great time today. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a California scorpion fish. There you Be careful go. with these fish, guys. They're real tasty to eat, but it's called a sculpin or a scorpion fish. And the spines in the back have a venom in them, and it's uh, usually not lethal, but it's pretty painful. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Here, just working that bucktail jig right on the bottom. Got another one going here. Probably another little rockfish. Hopefully, it's bigger than the last one. Let's see what we got going here. Just working that bucktail jig, the little strip of squid right on the bottom, just bouncing it, letting that bucktail just kind of open up and close, open and close. It really flutters nicely in the in the water. Oh, there's a nice sculpt in here. There he is, right here, just coming up. Nice sculpin. These bucktails work great for sand bass, sculpin. Yeah, this is a nice quality one. Again, you have to be careful with these. All these points have venom in them, and uh, you can handle them, but you just have to be careful handling them. You don't want to get stuck by them. It won't kill you or anything, but it'll ruin your day. It'll hurt for a few hours. But when you fly these up, they taste delicious. This is a really nice looking one. All right, well, we got the guys out with us today. Marines, US Marines. All these guys are drill instructors down here in San Diego. They serve all over the country, and today, their only mission is to catch fish like this. Come on, guys, get some. Yeah. Oh, they're here. There we go. Good march here, guys. Get down to the bottom. And the third one. Oh, that's this no. one. Oh, no. A little oh, bit bigger off. one here. Don't hit that. Oh, there 
another one. Turn the handle, turn the handle on. There we go. Got a good one here. This one might be a bigger white fish. Look at that baby. This is what we're talking about here. This is a quality vermilion rockfish. Really good eating. Sometimes you see it in the store as red snapper. You just got dinner. That's, that's a delicious. This is what we're looking for here. See if we can get a bunch of these here, guys. here for the man. It's short. We're going to have to let it go. Do a nice job overall. Look at the teeth on it. Oh, yeah. There we go. What was that? Exactly what we came for here. Nice slab. Nice red right there. Red red snapper. Lord Indian. What's your name? Jim. One. Good job. Jim one. Jim one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh lady. Lady. Uh, Is that you? That's me. Yeah, Minnesota. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Got two lean cod here. Short. We're gonna have to release them. Two hooks. Two fish. Way to go. Sweet. How big do those gotta be? Uh, 28 inches. Well, what just happened here was I dropped the line in the water, and with my supreme expertise in fishing skills, <laughs> due to being from the northern states of Minnesota, or northern parts of Minnesota, it caught me two fish at one time. Uh, but the day's not over, so I'm just gonna keep going and, and show up all these other guys on the boat on uh, how to fish. Hi, my name's Sergeant Palacios. I'm from Corpus Christi, Texas. And I wanted to say happy 4th of July to my mom and dad back in Corpus Christi, Texas. Hi, my name's Sergeant Gillian from Phoenix, Arizona. I'd like to say happy 4th of July to all my family and friends back in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'd like to say I love you to my wife, Leticia Daniel. Uh, I'm Brian, uh, Private Chekarovsky. Las Vegas, Nevada. I'd like to thank you, Dan, for us come out here on the strip. Give a shout out to my friends in Vegas. Have a happy 4th of July. Well, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more action aboard the Indian. Here we go. Uh, my name is Harvey Lacanla. I'm from Chula Vista. Uh, I want to say hi to my family, uh, especially my wife, my, my son, Nathan. How y'all doing? Um, I'm aboard the Indian sport fishing boat. It's real fun to spend a day off. Uh, thanks a lot, Dan Hernandez. My name is Tasson Hernandez, and uh, I'm from San Diego, California, and I'd like to send out a shout out to all the Marines, and VMAQ2, and all the, pro all the problem Marines at uh, Station at Cherry Point, and to all the drill inserters at Thurman China India Company, Ura. Hello, my name is Gunnar Sharnemager from Penns Grove, New Jersey. I'm out here with uh, Dan Hernandez on his fishing show. I had a good time. I want to say hello to my friends and family and uh, have everybody have a happy 4th of July. Oh, I had nothing to do with it. From Santa Barbara, what's your name? Manny. Manny? Well, you got a nice quality bonita. Nice. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, well, you guys are going to try to get a few more bonita here. We're going to take a little break from the action, show you the rods and reels that we're using today. Let's go visit the Tackle Box. Nice fish, man. Yeah. This week, the Tackle Box is brought to you by 
Shakespeare, manufacturer of America's best-selling fishing rod, the Ugly Stick. This week in the Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit what we're doing with the Marines today. Now, we're having a lot of fun with these guys, but there isn't a lot of surface action right now. So what we're doing is we're fishing down deep. Now, when you're fishing bottom fish like this, there's several ways to go. But when we have a lot of guys on the water today that aren't very experienced at fishing, one of the best techniques to use when you're rock cut fishing is to use a dropper loop. Remember, in California, you can use two hooks. So I'm going to show you how to tie up a two-hook dropper loop rig for rock fishing. The first thing you need are hooks. Now, if you're not sure what hooks to get, you can pick up the Dan Hernandez hook kit from Eagle Claw, and in it is a wide selection of hooks. Now, what we're going to do is use the red hooks here. I like to use red hooks a lot when I'm fishing, but also for demonstration, it works out good. So I'm going to pick two hooks. And you just want to use a regular live bait style hook, and that's what these are here. And when you tie these, this rig, you want to space them about a foot apart. And then you just go ahead and you make the loop. Then after you make the loop, you want to twist that line about five times, slide the hook through there. And before you cinch it down, you just want to wet the line a little bit. That way it takes the friction out of it. And then you just go ahead and you go up about another foot and you redo it, do the same way. Now on the very end of it, you want to go ahead and tie on your sinker. You just use a very simple knot. it down and like always you want to just cut off that little tag in and this is your two hook dropper loop rig so the way you're gonna fish this your sinker will be on the bottom these two hooks would be dangling above I would probably put the bigger bait if you want to use like a slab piece of mackerel or if you want to put a big sardine drop put that on the dropper loop on the bottom then on the top one a little strip of squid. What we like to use a lot are the Dan's Magic strips. What's neat about these is that they've already been processed, so you never have to refrigerate them. You can use them, put them back in the container, save them. You never have to refrigerate it, and they'll be good to use next time. Now, this is the double hook rig, and like I said, it just sits right on the bottom. You want that sinker lay right on the bottom, and we have the loop so that your bait can move around a little bit. looks more natural, and in the current, this will be swinging around the fish will jump all over it. Now, because we're fishing this shallow water rock fishing around 80 feet of water, the most 100 feet, you can get away with fishing some pretty light gear. This is a Shakespeare Ugly Stick Light Rod. I like to use this all the time when I'm fishing calico bass. The shallow water rock fishing, it works great too. Got the Fluger reel on here. And I only have like 10, 12 pound test um, Cajun red line on here. This works out really nice. I know you're thinking this is really light line for rock fishing, but I'm telling you, you're fishing the shallow water, fish around less than 100 feet, this works fine. Again, it's got the pistol grip on there if you're casting, but for this type of fishing, we're really not casting, pitching the bait out. And the lure I would use would be a chrome head with a white bucktail on it. When you're fishing a bucktail, you always want to use a Dan's Magic Squid Strips. Now, if you don't want to buy a big container like that, you can pick up the little bag. It comes with like six or eight strips in it. And this is what they look like here. They're packed in crab and shrimp oil. So it just adds to the flavor. So when the fish bites down on it, it makes them hold on a little bit longer. Now, again, if you're not used to tying this type of rig and you're not sure how to tie a dropper loop rig, when you buy the hook kit, it comes with a little DVD. And in the DVD, it shows how to tie the dropper loop rig. Well, let's get back on the water and join our Marines as they're fishing aboard the Indian. I'm going to have a staff sergeant Del Winellinger from West Palm Beach, Florida. I want to wish my family a happy 4th of July and all those warriors that's overseas right now, especially the Charlie Company 3rd Track. Wish you a happy 4th of July. My name is First Sergeant James Sen. I'm from River Falls, Wisconsin. I'd like to say happy 4th of July to my family and most importantly to the troops serving overseas. Be safe and be vigilant. My name is First Sergeant Bonnie. I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. I want to say hello to everybody back home and uh, wish all the troops uh, overseas come home safe. Well, good morning, Dan. It's uh, great to have all of you aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego. Uh, my name is Brigadier General Jay Paxton, and we're honored and delighted to have you here. Uh, we thank you and the crew very much for the good things you've done over the course of many years to support our Corps and the Marines, particularly here at MCRD. Uh, we've had a lot of series officers and drill instructors who've been able to go out on the Indian and get some great sport fishing in. Uh, we think that uh, 
Sports in general and fishing in particular has a lot in common with the Marine Corps. It's a lot of initiative, it's brave in the elements, it's a can-do spirit, and it takes the whole team to bring the big one in. So thanks for everything you've done, Dan. And on behalf of everyone here at the depot, not only would we like to welcome you, but we'd like to wish you and all your viewers a really happy 4th of July. We're honored to serve this great nation, and uh, we're really proud and privileged to call ourselves United States Marines and, and work on behalf of all the citizens of this great country. So happy holidays to you in Semper Fi. Good afternoon. My name is Gunnery Sergeant Robinson. I'm from Maryland. Um, I like to say happy 4th of July to my wife Adrian and my son and happy um, 4th of July to my mother in Texas and my grandmother in Maryland. Good afternoon. My name is Gunnery Sergeant Harold Franco. I'm from White Oak, Texas. I want to th say hi to my mom and dad back in White Oak, Texas and say good luck and God and prayers are with you for all the service members overseas. Happy 4th of July. Hi, my name is uh, First Sergeant Richard A. Mather. I'm from Billings, Montana. And uh, I'd like to say hello to my family and friends. Happy 4th of July. And I'd like to thank Dan Hernandez for my third trip out here. It was a great time. Thanks a lot, Dan. I appreciate it. I got some. We just made a move, and I switched to a Magic Metal jig, all chrome. A little bit heavier outfit, the Ugly Stick Tiger Rod, Fluger Reel. And I got 25-pound test line on here. And uh, we're still over the rock pile area. Just moving around, fishing different stones here. And uh, we've been seeing lots of small wings come up. So I decided to switch to a bigger jig and a piece of mackerel on it. And oh, I got a rockfish. Same kind of fish, starry eye. Not quite what we're trying to get. But you can see that mackerel strip I was talking about. He chewed all over it. This is a magic metal jig and just chrome color. Bounce it off the bottom. Let's see if I can get me a link hut. That's what we're trying to catch. Nice size bonita. Here you go. All right. That's our. That's what we want. Part of a tuna. Okay guys, let's get rolling again here. Let's get uh, four trollers out there. If you caught one on the troll, just step out of the rotation, let somebody else hop in there. Let's get looking again here, see if we can get out of school. Line them up. Feather. Keep in the water, keep in the water. Keep in the water. Yeah, leave in the water. <laughs> it's not a piñata, you gotta leave in the water. There you go. You already hit some of that out. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in on troll here? Nice panita, man. Garrison Amaker. And where are you from? Greensboro, North Carolina. There you go. Nice. Nice Benita, man. Work. This is Benita. We just caught trolling. So Zucker feather, trolling right up on the surface. The same way we troll for tuna, and Benita's part of the tuna family. They, they, they bite just the same way. Is that your first Benita? Yes, it is. All right, man. You'll enjoy that one. It'll taste good. They got land platform. Not, not quite that straight up. <laughs> lay him down, lay him down. There we go. You got a bonita in a tangle. That's a good one. Yeah. First catch of the day. Yeah, you gotta watch out. They got really sharp mouths. Hi, my name is Gunnery Sergeant Skip Amaker from Greensboro, North Carolina. I want to wish everyone back home a happy 4th of July. And for all our troops overseas, happy 4th of July. My name's uh, Gunnery Sergeant Kinzer, uh, 
wish everyone a happy 4th of July. I'd like to say uh, hi to my mom and grandma back in Kansas. Uh, thanks for having us out, Dan. Hi, my name's First Sergeant Richards from Coos Bay, Oregon. I want to say hi to everyone back home. Say hello to my wife, Juanita, and my two boys, Johnny and Ryan. I want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July. I want to thank you, Dan, for bringing us out today. And I hope that everyone comes home safe from Iraq. I am uh, Gunner Sergeant Dustin Kazmar from uh, Northern Minnesota. I'd like to wish uh, my family and friends a happy 4th of July and uh, wish the guys over in Iraq and Afghanistan a happy 4th of July as well. This week, the tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and B-52 Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about giving service. You know, there's lots of ways you can help out around the country. Today, we took out a bunch of Marines, drill instructors here in San Diego, who give back every day by protecting us all around the world. You know, they make this country a safer place, and it makes it possible for me to relax, have a great time out here fishing, protect my family, and all of our families around the country. Now these guys had a great time today. It was fun to take them out, have a good time on the water. I'd like to thank Chris Randall, the owner operator of the Indian, all his crew for making it possible for do this trip today. Now one of the ways that we try to give service to this TV show is through our Youth Foundation. Please visit it when you have time. It's dancekids.org. It's what we do. It's a lot of fun. On this holiday weekend, I challenge you to think of what you can do around the country to help make everybody's life a little bit better. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. He told me he would every brotherhood.